Our design approach for the EX90 is a straightforward one that boils down to some of the underlying fundamentals of Scandinavian design. What are the attributes of Scandinavian design? Well, one attribute is form follows function, meaning we design for a purpose. Other attributes are flush and seamless execution and integration of technology. Together, they enable significant aerodynamic and efficiency gains, both critical in the overall sustainability performance of the car. So what does form follows function concretely mean? Well, as we go fully electric, we are progressing vehicle proportions. In the EX90, we've taken inspiration from yacht design to beautifully outline the sleek proportions. The front end is proud, confident, yet more round in overall execution. This enables the air to flow around the car more efficiently from the start. Combined with flush execution elements, such as side glazing, this ensures the air flow remains attached to the car and uninterrupted towards the rear. This new take on electric proportions translates into a coefficient drag number of 0.29, a very competitive figure for a large seven-seat SUV. The coefficient drag is used to quantify the resistance of an object in a fluid environment, a key factor for range performance. One key proportional indication of electrification is a longer wheelbase combined with short overhangs. The battery is placed low and between the wheels, which makes room for a flat floor inside the car. This opens up the interior space and enables new levels of modularity and versatility in our future cars. What's that bump on the roof line, you may think? It's our LiDAR, which is a remote sensing system that uses pulse laser to measure ranges with a high degree of precision and accuracy. LiDAR will play a key role in our journey towards zero collision and beyond in the introduction of unsupervised autonomous driving. The LiDAR integration has been quite a challenge from an exterior design standpoint, as in order to maximize its effectiveness, it needs to be high up on the roof. As we worked with our engineers, we figured that in the animal kingdom, you don't have your eyes on your knees. You have them as high as possible on your head for optimal vision. Hence our very deliberate stance to beautifully integrate the LiDAR into the center of the roof line to ensure superior vision and detection up to 250 meters, even during nighttime. <laughs>